Hi, Capricorn. We're pulling one love card for you for November 2023. One love card for Capricorn, November 2023. We have the Eight of Wands, and it was it fell out this way. It is active at the moment. Okay, Capricorn, for your love life, it's active at the moment. You have a Five of Cups for the rest of the remaining of November 2023. For the whole November, I'm sorry, of 2023. We, it's Scorpio energy here. It could be water. So it could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or here, it's just the energy of Scorpio with the Five of Cups. Yeah, someone's in love with you or got a lot of love feelings for you. They've been knowing you a long time or the feelings have developed. They haven't told you yet, okay? The love is toxic a little bit. Um, they could be obsessing over you. They could be thinking about you a lot or how they're gonna explain this love to you or tell you. I feel like they're sad because they ain't told you. This person could be in regret at the moment or just you know stuck in the past here with the Three of Cups. They are looking at the fun times they had with you in the past. They are reminiscing about what you said, what you did, how you look. Looked. Um, they're saying how beautiful you looked. Um, they love your beauty. They love how you looked. They love what you said. They're also saying they love your smile, okay? Something about your smile and your beauty, okay? How beautiful you looked. Um, they're also pointing out to your clothes. Um, the, the, maybe some kind of clothes you wore or perfume you wore. They are remembering that and they are. that's what they're stuck on. Um, they are obsessive over you. Sign is this Capricorn. Okay, it could be another Capricorn obsessing over you. Okay, Capricorn. Someone's obsessing over you. If they did make love to you or, you know, had sex with you some type of way, um, they are thinking about that. They are reminiscing about that, and they want that back. Okay, you have communication coming in, Capricorn, from the past here. Okay, you have it coming in. It could possibly be a Scorpio or another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It also could be communication coming in from a Libra here with the Two of Swords in the back behind the um, Devil card here. Capricorn. It could be another Capricorn like yourself. Okay, Eight of Wands are this fast, quick communication, unexpected communication out of the clear blue. You do not see it coming, Capricorn. So uh, it could be communication to where you live or something. If you are in separation from this person, this person does know how to find you, I'm hearing. So they're ready to come in. They're ready to communicate. It also could be a, from a fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If they are from a distance from you, they are traveling or thinking about traveling to see you, they're going to surprise you, okay, is what I'm hearing. Because if they are from far from a distance or in another state or another country they're gonna you know make their way back to you okay hmm we're gonna pull messages from the hearts hidden secrets three cards for capricorn love november okay three cards for capricorn love november yeah, look at this. Look how active this is. This is happening right now in November, okay? They could surprise you at your doorstep or something like that, I'm hearing. So if someone's being surprised. What flipped over? Nothing or what? Yeah, look at this. Silence. Yeah, they're secretive, okay? Look at this, too. It says second chance. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what they're coming back in to ask for. Definitely. Okay. So we have second chance. They're coming back for a second chance. They're going to let that be known. It says reconciliation, making amends, opportunity. They're going to take a risk too, okay? So they are scared. Um, they haven't told you that they love you. Okay, that's what's going on behind the scenes. That's why they're sad. They're in regret. They loved you for a long time. I'm picking up as well all the way in the past, okay? So they could have been loving you for a long time, for years. They could have fell in love with you years ago. Could have been in love with you years ago. I'm hearing years ago, years ago. All right, so this person has a lot of love for you. They're madly in love with you. They've been in love with you. They haven't told you, and that's what they're feeling regretful for. Capricorn, they feel like they should have mentioned it to you in the past. Something happened where there's a separation or a break point here. This person wants to come back, wants a second chance. They're going to risk it. This is also the full card energy for me when they, when I'm talking about risk. Okay, it's not there, but it's, I keep getting like they're ready to risk it. So whatever that is, okay. So maybe people are forbidding them to come towards you or they don't want this person to come towards you. They're coming towards you. They want a second chance. They're serious about it. 
the numbers of the dice are also looking out to me. So we have number three. We have four, four, and two, and one, all right? So second chance, reconciliation, making amends, opportunity. We have silence. It was sticking out, frozen, no words, stone wall. So this person wasn't communicating for a long time. It also could have been years. You could have felt that this person moved on with their life, that they're busy, they got their own stuff now in their life. And no, they're still focused on you. They're still focused on the past, the Five of Cups. This person's going to really be thinking about you very heavy in November, and that's why I feel they're going to be, you know, trying to contact you now, okay? They could also feel you're getting away. Ex exhaustion. Did I say that right? Exhaustion. I'm sorry, guys. Um, depletion, drained, a long journey. Yeah. This person is feeling really bad, okay? They could also be single with the silent card here. Hermiting themselves. I'm getting a hermit card as well. It says frozen, no words, stonewall. They're tired, I feel, of um, keeping this a secret or keeping this hidden. They're, they're tired of that. Look at this. It says lusting, okay? And it says, um, forbidden, I have to cover up a little bit, <laughs> forbidden, um, non-committal sexual energy. Yeah, they're ready to be intimate with you, to be close to you again, talk to you, communicate with you. What's at the bottom? We have boundaries with the S. So it could be several boundaries here. It says no, it says drawing the line enough. Okay, so some of you guys, Capricorn, um, have had it with this past person that was toxic in the past towards you, okay? They could have blocked you in the past, could have not gave you the time of day, could have not gave any energy to you, could have put other things um, before you. And now I feel like they went cold and silent, and now they're focused on you. They're also regretting that um, the love they have for you that they didn't express that in the past. Now they want to communicate, and they kind of feel like, is it too late? Do, you know, it's making them tired, though, trying to figure out when should they come in and stuff. So, but they want a second chance with you. But you could have set up some kind of boundaries, okay, already. And someone around um, you is experiencing bad karma, okay? It says, for their consequences, causes, and effects, cause and effect, and depths. Okay. And someone is stuck on the past about you and you know for this love reading here capricorn they're stuck and they don't know what to do but they are going to try to um come forward they're going to try to break the silence is what i'm picking up here okay capricorn so that's all i have for you guys until next time take care